Hey guys, so after my July favorites video, a lot of you requested I do a what's in my bag with the backpack I showed. So that's what we're doing, but you know that because there's a title on this video. So this is the mini Sadie from Soul Society. I got mine on Nordstrom and it was $54.95. I will say I think that it's very well made. I've been using it as my daily bag. I was also traveling with it on the West Coast and it's just served me really well. And I've definitely overstuffed it several times and it's still going strong. So although I haven't had it for very long, I have been putting it through the ringer, as they say. Do they say that? So there is the front pocket with the zip, there are these side pouches on either side, and then on the inside zip there is a front pocket which you would probably put your phone or whatever in, and then there is a back zip pocket too, but the rest is just one big opening with the leopard print lining. So starting with the front pouch I just have my little wallet in here from Free People. I have shown this a few times before but it's just a very pale pink fake leather and then it just has the little gold cactuses on it and the gold hardware and then I just have my house key on there. So that's the only thing I keep in that front pouch and that worked really well for me while I was traveling. Um, let's move on to the big compartment. I believe you will be surprised how much I fit in here, but we'll see. The first thing is just my iPhone 6 Plus. I got this case from Casetify. You can just choose what the back panel is and you can customize your own. So I think they're really good, super protective as well. I've dropped it a couple times and very happy with that phone case. And as usual, everything will be listed below as well as any promos or discounts or anything I can find. The next thing is my flint lint roller, which I also showed you in my last favorites video. So I won't go into it too much, but it's just a retractable lint roller. Next, I have my Pacifica Sugared Amber Dreams hand cream. I really love this stuff. It's a thinner consistency, but it's really moisturizing and it sinks in really well so you don't get slimy hands. So this one is perfect for like putting it on throughout the day. Oh, and it smells, someone's gonna ask what it smells like, aren't they? It smells like Sugared Amber Dreams. No, but really. It does smell kind of girly, sugary, fizzy smelling. Really great at describing smells. It's a great smell. And I think if you like some of the more traditionally girly scented products, you would probably really like this one because it's kind of a more grown up version of those. I have my Philips hairbrush. This is the best travel hairbrush slash normal hairbrush that I've ever found. I did have this in a favorites video too, so I won't go into it, but it's a great little hairbrush. And I also have a little pouch in here from Pinrose, so I'm gonna get that out next and show you what's inside. So I believe I did a blog post on this. This is from the brand Pinrose. They make vegan, cruelty-free perfumes. They are all incredible. So this pouch was a special from Sephora, I think, which just had sample wipes of their different scents. So it's worked out pretty well. And this is what I use when I fly. So I put my liquids in here. Let's cover the Pinrose things first, since I was just talking about them. So I just have one of their perfume wipes in here. This one is Secret Genius, gorgeous smell. And the scents are Madagascan Vanilla, Caramel, and Sandalwood. Next is my nasal spray because I get a dry sinus and I don't like it. So gotta have the nasal spray. <laughs> Similarly to my dry sinus, I also don't like to have dry eyes. So this is dry eye relief drops from Similisan. I think they were the most natural, non-awful brand that I could find eye drops from. So if you have any other recommendations, I am very interested. Next is a little roller perfume from Diptyque. I was so surprised when they got added to the Logical Harmony brand list. Not because I had heard or thought anything bad about them, but a lot of the bigger, more like designer or luxury brands seem kind of reluctant to openly say that they're vegan or cruelty free. Diptyque aren't a fully vegan company, but I believe all of their scents are vegan. So I will see if Logical Harmony have any info on that, but this is the Philosikos, Philosikos, I don't know how you pronounce it, roller ball. I think it's a lot of fig scent, but it's really nice. Kind of fresh, fruity, little dreamy, great smell. I also have a second perfume in case the first two perfume items weren't enough, which is the Pacifica Roller Ball of the Sugared Amber Dreams. Again, smells like sugared amber dreams. I'm gonna mix the two. All of their roller balls are super convenient. They're also really good roller balls because some of them kind of get stuck or don't dispense much. These are great. I have an Honest Company hand sanitizer gel. As far as I can tell, it's vegan, but I don't know much about them as a brand, so I'm just using this up. Next, 
I have my Pacifica Dream Big Mascara. This lives in here always. I have another one that I use when I get ready. But, you know, sometimes you just need more mascara. So I'm prepared. And also I tell so many people about this mascara that it's nice to have it with me so that I can show them the cool extending wand. You want to see, don't you? So this is what it looks like for length and then you twist the bottom of the lid and it compresses to be for volume. So, you know, pretty cool. Incredible mascara, it's the only one I use. I also have some minis from Uma Oils in here. So I've got two of their Pure Bliss Oils. I use these just a few drops in my palms, rub them together and take a few deep inhales. Whether you believe in like aromatherapy or not, it calms me down, so I use them. Speaking of calm, uh, the one I probably use more often is the Pure Calm Oil. I like to use the Bliss one when I'm like hormonal and on my period and not feeling good, or if I just need to feel blissed out. But the Calm one is great if you have anxiety or anything like that. Again, you might not believe in aromatherapy, but if you can like put that intention out there that you want to not feel as anxious and a little bit of oil helps, then there you go. And then lastly, I have a 100% pure pink grapefruit nourishing body cream. This is just a little sample for emergencies. And then I have a bunch of these floss sachets. You guys know I have a hard time saying that. So it's just floss woven through a piece of paper. You tear it in half, the floss comes out, and then you can floss. So that was everything in this pouch. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in and then move on to the next stuff. Back to the bag, I have my phone charger. This one is from Mophie. Everything is nice and compact and hidden away in there. So you just pop the lid up and then the cables are inside. Super convenient, you can't lose the cable and I love it. I also have my favorite hot sauce. This is the O Brothers Chipotle Habanero Pepper Sauce. I love this stuff. If you are vegan or you have like dietary requirements that usually make the food that you eat out taste like nothing, hot sauce. Let's see how many lip products I've got in here, shall we? So this is not as bad as I was anticipating. I have four. So I have the Youngblood Lip Liner in Pout. This is my favorite lip liner. I do have a new one, but I just like to keep this baby one in my bag because it doesn't take up much room. I have a Suntegrity Lip CPR. This one is the Sunrise Peach one. SPF 30, always important to protect yourself in a whole manner of ways. I have Dose of Colors Bellini Gloss, love this stuff. And then lastly, I have the 100% Pure Gemmed Crystal Lip Gloss. So this has like, I'm pretty sure like Moonstone and stuff in it. It's just like a really pretty glittery gloss. I like to put it on the center of the lips. In fact, I have it on today, I'm pretty sure. Nice and glossy and a fun lip gloss. I have gum. This stuff has got like very few ingredients and it's available at our co-op, so that's what I buy. And then lastly, I just have a few makeup products in that back zip, so I'm gonna go through those too. So these are just the things that I find most useful when I need to do, not need to, want to do some touch-ups. So I have the Cover Effects little foundation stick, the click stick. This is in G40 and I just have it so that I can cover up anything quickly. I did fly with this bag and most of these things in it. So this was perfect because I usually fly without makeup. If you do want a little bit of makeup on when you get there, just a little concealing with this and some mascara and, you know, kind of feel more like I made an effort. Not saying that you need to make an effort. That's just how I like to live. Next, I have the Lily Lolo Sculpt and Glow Contour Duo. I love this because it is so cute and compact. You've got your bronzer or contour color and then a nice highlighter. Great little thing to keep in your bag or if you just like tiny products. I've got the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Pressed Powder. Just a good setting powder. As you can see, I need a new one soon and I've already got a backup. And then lastly, the brush I use with all of those products is the Hourglass Ambient Light brush. It's kind of weird, it's flat so it doesn't take up much room and I use it for creams, powders, whatever. If I just want to kind of blow away any creases I have, this is great. And it comes in a little pouch, so I just find this really convenient to keep in my bag. So that is it, that's everything in my bag. It's nice and light when it's empty, but still obviously quite sturdy. It's obviously a pricier bag, but if you're gonna use it daily and you want something that's gonna last well and be well made and not leather, then I would really recommend it, I really like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the stuff back in my bag so that I can leave to pick up my PO box key. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and do let me know below one item that you cannot be without in your bag.
I would like to hear. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you next time. Bye. Meow.